what's going on people it's your boy phil here and this is shakedown yes we are back we are back to do this episode in which i show you my vlog from jamaica now point of this video is to show you exactly what's gone on since we last been to jamaica what's changed and also a little bit of tidbits of um the family getting together because we've done some bits and pieces um, over the years that I would like to show you. So sit back and enjoy the ride. But first, it's me getting up at God knows what to go to Heathrow Airport. Check it out. Good morning. Uh, it's just on 2.25 in the morning and um, already I'm, I'm tired I spent like the, the night packing and um, we're already tomorrow we're at Digbeth coach station as you can see um, just while waiting for the coach to take us to to Heathrow um, so it's all cold everybody's just cold at the moment so then we've got this on board obviously where we're going <laughs> It'll be way hotter than this and there'll be no need for this winter cold. Um, so, yeah, I'm exhausted. Very exhausted. It's been a long day. Virgin Atlantic. We're heading into the terminal right now. I'm gonna check our bags in. Looking good so far. And we got here really early as well, so it'll be interesting to see what's going on. My auntie's not even here yet. She'll be here in a few hours time. Okay, we've just made it through security and now we're in the duty free. Yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> I hate going through security, it's it's just the bane of making sure you haven't got nothing metal on you, no liquids, that kind of thing. Um, I'm just glad I got through with flying colours really, so we're going to look to get something to eat now. And um, yeah, I'm hungry, I am I'm definitely, definitely, definitely hungry. Come to the little um, restaurant, this is what I got, yeah, the four English. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna talk into this because I've been traveling since two o'clock this morning. I got my orange juice there, as you do. All right, now we are gonna go onto the gates. One of the things, the Delta plane just right there. Uh, it feels weird just having to come back on to traveling again like this. It's been five years um, since we last uh, traveled, ironically, it was to Jamaica, but um, yeah. So we're looking to board right now and everything, so um, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. I had a nice um, breakfast, a little cold. Um, but tasty all the same to be fair. That will keep me going until when they uh, serve, serve the, the lunch or dinner when we get on the plane. So, yeah, we're just having a good long stroll. Can you actually believe that this place was actually empty during the pandemic? It's mad. And now with it jump jump pack full of people. I haven't said that. 
um, having said that, it is it's nice to be able to travel here in Heathrow. Um, like, this is just so much bigger than Gatwick. Because normally we travel through Gatwick and then five years ago we travelled straight from Birmingham. But this time we're coming all the way to Heathrow and I never thought that I would actually um, travel from here ever. Um, and yeah, it's cool. It's cool.
so I've just um, landed and in Atlanta uh, landed about 20 minutes ago um, welcome, to, welcome to America again <laughs> And you know, the worst thing is, I'm not even gonna go outside of this building um, because we're gonna do, we're gonna fly to Jamaica from here. So we're staying in this building. So it's really annoying that, I, uh, that uh, I'm not going to look to go and see America. I would like to, I would like to. I've been to Florida way, way back in 2009. And as I said, I got unfinished business when it comes to that. So, yeah. <laughs> no, but the flight here was um, was generally smooth, actually. Generally smooth. Few um, few turbulences um, here and there, but it wasn't too problematic at all. Um, I did enjoy it. I got to watch a couple of films. Um, well, there was films I was supposed to watch. I didn't get around to watching. Um, so I'm going to do that on the return leg make sure that I'm going to stay up to do that as well because it's going to be a night flight when I head back but um, but yeah I just went to the, the toilets um, which is just over here the toilets just there I went in there right and I used the toilet as normal but they got the motorised um, 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 hand towels so when you finish so when you finish like um uh, yanking it off, they, they it comes down. So it's, I know that's weird. <laughs> I know that's weird. That's not what, what you want to hear, but I thought it was kind of cool and it's very clean in there as well. So it was nice. Here I am talking about toilets, <laughs> but um, nah, it's um, it's good to actually be here. To be honest with you, um, uh, yeah. I'd rather go direct, if I'm honest. Um, like doing connecting flights isn't really the one, but I kind of would rather do um, direct flights. So that's one thing I've learned. But yeah, we move, we move. Check this out. We're the only ones left. It used to be full of people, and now we've been here for like a good um, 45 minutes here, waiting to get ourselves processed. Look, it's right there. And they're doing it really, really quickly. In Jamaica, it's like one person checking out a good 500 people. So it's good, actually, quite good. You know, guys, um, I've just went through the security checks. So we're making our way to the gate now. These connecting flights, it ain't the one for me. As I said before, I think it's probably a good idea to do things direct. I'm not so sure if I can do uh, connecting flights here and there and everything. Um, I don't get me wrong, I'm always up for a road trip and there will be more road trips going forward. Even international ones um, I'm hoping to do as well. But obviously for this, <laughs> it's been a long day because I've been on the go now since um, two o'clock UK time. Um, and uh, I'm still going. This is the last bit of the journey now to Jamaica, so yeah, awkward. Awkward. Anyway, I was saying that um, 
we was flown out from Atlanta to, um, to Kingston. And then we found out that the, um, that Kingston has got a dense park. Very dense park. And, it, and they were trying to circle around, see if they can land the plane. It wasn't working. So we ended up landing here in Montego Bay. And the weather hasn't even improved. It may look like a shame. See the rain. <laughs> So every single one of us is still on board waiting to see what they're going to do. They're not going to be playing right now, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a resolution soon. They are talking to this, and I'm talking to the, I'm talking about the captain. Um, they are going to be in touch with the weather people as well as the ground control people to see what they're going to do. Um, I can't see weather is improving to be honest with you because having lived here in this country for years and years and years when the weather gets bad it gets bad really really bad and we've been literally on the ground since 2 o'clock in the day to cut time um, this is about 12 hours of travel um, it is now UK time um, Thursday in the morning. Um, Free Friday in the morning. Jamaica time. It's ten thirty. It's ten thirty here, and then it might be over there. So yeah, this is not really the best trip. It's the best part of the trip, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, everybody's just getting themselves. Um, they don't know what to do. The Wi-Fi is even out. I can't even like, turn the Wi-Fi on just so that we can send a message to people who's waiting for all of us in Kingston. Um, and this is just annoying everybody. So yeah, so that's the situation. Um, just sitting tight, really, waiting patiently. We'll see what happens. Right now. And um, 
and they just want to get to where they're going, you know, you know, staying with loved ones, going to hotels, yada yada yada. It's not good. It's just not good. And um, I think the situation is sad or soon. The fact that there's no Wi-Fi, so I can't even, I can't even like get in contact with anybody to tell them about the situation so that we can we, we can advise ourselves on what to do. That's even bad in itself. I mean, this place had free Wi-Fi. Never been on an airplane before that has free Wi-Fi. And, um, yeah, we've been stuck here for a good part of the last two hours. It is, um, it is 11.30, coming up to 11.30, Jamaica time. It's not good. I've been on the call since, um, two o'clock, UK time. The weather is not improved in Kingston. They say it's not good. But I can tell from one time that the weather's not going to be going to improve. I know this country and I know how it works. I can tell. There you go. So we're getting off this plane um, you know, shortly, and then we've got to figure out what we're going to do. So yeah. Okay, sick room. So we are outside the airport. Um, as soon as you get outside, it's that, it's that smell, that fresh air smell. Always happens when you come to this uh, come to this country. Um, so the tip up is that we are looking to get the Knoxford Express uh, coach Ooh, that's my bag, um, to get down to um, to Kingston. But it's going to be in the early hours of the morning, so we would have to stay here, and then um, and then from there, five fifteen in the morning just to get back. You could not even make this up. You can't make this up. Um, obviously it would be nice if we could just jump in a taxi and everything else, but obviously to have a taxi that will hold our suitcases and everything else. It's, it's, it's a night, it's a, I don't, know, I don't even know if I should actually say that this is turning into a nightmare already, but you just can't make this up. You just can't. And, um, and uh, yeah, I just, um, Yeah, we just want sort of everyone to just go to the place now and just get some sleep. I just hope that we're not doing anything tomorrow um, or the next day because we're going to need some serious rest and acclimatization because we've been at it now since 2 a.m. UK time. Um, it is um, half six UK time. Over here, it is um, half. 12 in the morning um, yeah we're just really feeling it we're feeling tired we're frazzled just want to sleep and um, yeah it's just not easy we just could not make it up at all we could not make it up the one thing I definitely would want to recommend people is definitely fly direct don't take no connecting um, trains buses whatever if you have to just simply just see what you can do about just going there and get a direct service somewhere you know you may have to pay extra but so be it because it's not worth all the headache I never known that this would be the um, this would be a problem um, and it's not our fault either we will have to come back down here to actually go home. Hopefully it will be a lot more smoother experience, touch wood. Actually, let me do that again, touch wood. So, uh, yeah, we just have to wait and see. But I didn't even think I would actually have this much content already. <laughs> and I haven't even used my camcorder yet to record um, a lot of things. But, um, but yeah. All in all, I'm, I'm glad to be back here. I'm glad to um, be back into my um, my native country and everything. Um, but we're going to have to wait until we get the next taxi. Somehow, or coach, whatever, to just get us down to Kingston. 
it's not good. Hopefully it will be up from here. <laughs> So we just arrived. We just arrived here in normal airport in Kingston, where we should have been <laughs> a few hours ago. I gotta say, this is just crazy. It is really, really mad. I'm tired. It's just come four in the morning. And um, <laughs> I just want to lie down more so than anything else right now. Um, but yeah, we're in Kingston, that's what matters. Uh, <laughs> I never thought I would actually be happy to see a bed. Um, we reached my, um, my, uh, my uncle's relative's house up in Kingston. Um, you can hear everybody talking and conversating and like they've been talking throughout the whole journey from like the, 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 um, the airport just to get to here. It was roughly about an hour's drive or so I guess but um, it is what, what time is it now? It is 5.21 um, Jamaica time. It is... Uh, 5.21 Jamaica time. It is... Uh, God, let me... Get the time up. It is uh ten twenty UK time. Ten twenty UK time and um yeah I'm absolutely drained. I don't think I can do something like that ever, ever again. Like it's just the connection and I think it's just the added the added inconvenience that made it even more stressful. Um there it was on the plane circling around and I was there thinking like, um, we're gonna have to divert. They didn't want to divert, and they had no choice in the end. It's a good thing that the the, the airline did lay on three three coaches so that we was able to get to Kingston, get back down to Kingston, and we got there for about two hours. Uh, sorry, we got there within two hours, um, and then obviously it was just a wait for um, my uncle's relative to come and pick us up. And then when we did, um, obviously it was just a straight run, quick, clear, quick time, and um, the roads were more or less clear, so that was that was all right. Um, so yeah, it's uh, so yeah, it's just uh, been a, a hell of a journey, a hell of a journey, and um, obviously there's still more stuff to come. So this is just only the beginning. <laughs> this is only the beginning. I'm not saying that there's going to be like um, mad journeys to make, but there's going to be some interesting stuff that's going to be made. Um, there's going to be interesting things going to be happening throughout this trip. Um, so we still got um, we still got Negro to come. We got obviously the house in Old Harbour. Um, we got other things to to be doing as well. So yeah, it's going to be a, a hectic two weeks to come. Um, people tell me, oh, it's a break, it's a break, it's a break. Mosquito's already biting me already. <laughs> and I haven't even um, got here, but um, Mosquito's already biting me already. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just glad to be here. All I want to do now is just simply just rest and sleep. So, yeah, all good, all good. Well, that was morning. First day, we're driving on the streets of Kingston. We've got some errands to run. So, caught up in a little bit of traffic. So, we're just driving on the way to Kingston. You know, I'm going to turn around there. I'm going to turn around there. You're going to turn right down. Come back. So, I'll just show you what it's like in the streets of Kingston. The road I want to see is just a pump, water road and chopper road. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 let's find that no, brother. Bless you, sir. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah so my window, some wind out of the window. Now that I still am, it's a man. You can alert it, it's dust. So we know that all is a little dust. Really? Yeah. You know, you see, it's me as a wife, man. I'm like a man. Yeah, man, if we start seeing and dust like an allergy, 
Especially when we do the final, we do the whole thing. We go back there. So it's like, yeah. you wait quite, yeah. when you do, we use a rag, a wet rag and white. Yeah. We till the dust, so it's a blow up. Yeah. And the fan them, we wait. Okay, we're at um, Island Car Rentals. So this is where we come to collect the car and everything, so. Good morning, morning. Morning, morning. morning. Okay, so this is the car that's going to be transporting us around the island for the next few days or so. It's a um, Hyundai. Hyundai. I used to say Hyundai, I think Hyundai, but it's a Hyundai. And as you can see, it's seat 7. And also I'm doing this for another reason as well. It's just to make sure that when we send this car back, it is exactly as we picked it up. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming up to Constant Spring Road. It's one of the busiest roads in all of Kingston. In 400 meters, turn left onto Dunroman Avenue. Look how pretty just here, shopping up there. Don't grab it up on the left. So guys, just to take clarification when we're in Kingston still. This is the national city. Um, so the, the national city where, where, where we're staying at the moment is just outside of um, downtown Kingston. You'd have to go over, over that part down there. with the car, right hand drive, like what you get here in the country over um, in the UK. Yeah, 
seat. Just gonna put the boat yeah, close. Yeah, totally 50 miles. 50 miles. 50 kilometers. Sorry. Hey guys, this is how they drive. I'm filming this so that you know how they actually drive. Because you get some people in the UK that will run the red lights that will kind of cut up people if they have to. They don't indicate, they'll just do it like this one. Well, okay, this one does. But... Right, we're nearby now. Okay, so that ends it for part one for this episode of Shakedown. Part two is coming and it will have a lot more interesting stuff on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next part.